right, so what's the one thing that we can do to make our strings last as long as they can? Clean them. Yay, clean them. So who's really good at cleaning their strings? Who's really good at cleaning every single time they play? Every single time you play, you clean your strings? Well, that's the key to getting the most out of your strings. It is so simple. It is so simple. And I tell this to people who are just starting out, to kids who are just learning, and I also tell this to professionals who have been playing for 50 years. It's the same thing. People don't clean their strings enough. And I'm sure you guys see instruments that come in that look like, you know, <laughs> you've never been cleaned in the last 40 years. Um, it's really, really important. It's important to clean after every time because the, um, the stuff that collects on the string, whether it's rosin or sweat or body oil or dirt, it doesn't just sit nicely on the surface of the string when we put it away and walk away. It goes in between the windings and it goes inside the string and it starts the corrosion process. Right? There's humidity in the air, there's all sorts of stuff that's, getting, that's coming in contact with your string. And if we don't wipe it down, we're actually just letting it eat away our string. So it, take, it takes, what, five seconds, 10 seconds? Take a clean cloth, a clean, dry cloth. I also don't recommend um, any sort of real solvents or anything harsh because um, people aren't very careful with it sometimes and they can get on the instrument itself. Um, just if you do it every day with a clean, dry cloth, you'll be fine. Wash, uh, wipe off the fingerboard area and the, the bowing area. So how often should I change them? This is a question nobody likes. How often do you think we should change our strings? Quiet audience. It depends. My quiet people. It depends on how much you play. It depends on how much you play. So say if you play every day, regularly, you know, an average amount. Not like, yeah. Mm, half the year, maybe one. Well, it's not. It's not. When they start sounding, start sounding bad, right? <laughs> well, most strings, um, depending on their, the, 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 gauge would be to see how thick the string is. So for small instruments, we don't have as many windings, and the windings are not as thick. So the strings aren't as well protected. So that's why small instrument strings, like violin and viola strings, will tend to wear out faster than large instrument strings. It's very simple. Violin and viola, we recommend changing every three to six months. And cello and bass, we re recommend changing every six months to a year. Of course, there's lots of people who want to get more life out of their strings than that, and that's absolutely fine. But just know that as the string is deteriorating, you're losing the optimal performance of your string. So if you need to get as much, you know, every single minute out of your string, do your best to clean them, keep them away from excessive humidity changes and, you know, any sort of stuff in the air. As long as you can keep them relatively um, well, then they should last you. Any questions on that? Oh, wow, guys. All right. Well... <laughs> Okay, that's it. Um, so if you want to look this up later online, um, we have a website that has a lot of this information there, as well as a lovely little factory tour. It's about two and a half minutes long. Um, it's at daddario.com slash factory tour. Um, on that page as well are little tools for teachers to, um, to use that particular site in their classrooms and little quizzes and things like that. Mm -hmm.